my name is Carson. I am the Outreach Coordinator here at the Grout Museum District. Welcome to Imaginarium Animal Spotlight. This is a show where every single week I'll be bringing you guys a different animal from here at the Imaginarium and kind of showing them to you and telling you a little bit about them. Sort of like we would do during our weekly demos, but it'll be more of a closer look at one animal in particular. Now this week we're going to start with one of everyone's favorite animals here. He greets people as they come through the door. He lives in a big kind of octagon cage upstairs. His name is Sherbert, and he is a red-footed tortoise. A couple fun facts about tortoises. First of all, everybody thinks he's a turtle. Like whenever people see him, they always say, oh, look at the big turtle. However, he's not a turtle, he's a tortoise. And the way that you can tell is that tortoises live on land, turtles live in the water or near water. So we actually do have a turtle but he lives in a smaller cage, he's a lot smaller. Now, a couple interesting things about Sherbert. He comes from South America, so he would live like in Brazil, near the rainforest, and really, really warm weather. He is an herbal, which means that he likes plants, and he really, really likes fruit, like citrusy fruits, like oranges. He also eats a lot of bananas. So he is a really, really voracious eater of plants, and fruits. He eats a lot. He'll eat like a whole little salad of uh, lettuce and fruit per day. He eats really, really fast too. Another fun thing about tortoises, everyone thinks they're really, really slow. And as you can see, he's not a very fast mover, but he gets where he's going pretty quickly. They move really well. One of the things that helps him with that, if you look at his little feet, he doesn't really have toes, but he's got these little spiky nails at the end of his little feet. And those can help him dig into the ground wherever he's at. He can move pretty quickly when he wants to. Now, obviously, you can't talk about tortoises and turtles without talking about their shells. His whole body is surrounded by this really, really tough shell. But there's a couple really cool things about that shell that not a lot of people know. First of all, you can actually tell a tortoise's or a turtle's approximate age by counting the rings on the scales of their shell. So as you can see, a shell is kind of divided up into these scales. You can count the rings in the scales, like counting the rings inside of the tree that was cut down, to tell how old he is. I counted before we started this show. He's about, he's got about 16 rings inside of each scale. You have to take that number and divide it by two, which tells me that he's about eight years old, give or take. It's not an exact estimate, but it tells you he's about eight years old. But that means he's really, really young, because tortoises can actually live to be 50 years old. So he's still got a lot of living to do. As you can see, his little head is also pretty heavily armored. His neck is really soft, but he can actually pull that neck all the way back into his shell. So if you really wanted to, if you really wanted to, you really wouldn't be able to see his head at all. He would just kind of look like a big shell sitting there on the ground. It's pretty amazing how much he can pull back into his shell. So that shell is a really, really good defense mechanism. Now they don't have a lot of predators in the wild because that hard shell protects them so much. Uh, jaguars and other big cats do look for them, but for the most part, they live a pretty peaceful life in the wild. <clears throat> and they're also really, really popular pets. So the only thing that's really diminishing their numbers in the wild is the fact that a lot of people want to have them as pets. Now their colors can vary by region. So based on where they're from in South America, their colors are a little bit different. Some red-footed tortoises are really, really red. Some like Sherbert have more of an orangey yellow color. It really just depends on a lot of things like where they're from or even their gender. We think Sherbert's a boy. Like all reptiles and amphibians, it's really, really difficult to tell. But we're pretty sure he's a boy. He's pretty big. Red-footed tortoises can get anywhere from 12 to 16 inches in length. So he's pretty large for a red-footed tortoise. As you can see, I'm kind of scratching him as he moves around. Whenever I scratch him, he'll kind of stop and push into my fingers a little bit. That's because, believe it or not, even though this shell is so solid, he can actually feel it like we can feel. So when I scratch his shell like this, it actually feels good for him. You actually see them scratching their shells against their cage a lot because it's a spot that they can't really reach. Now, it's not like skin. It doesn't have quite that amount of feeling. Uh, it's been compared to like if you scratch your fingernail, you can sort of feel it, but not really. Sort of like that. So he does have nerves that run all through his shell, so he can tell when something is poking and prodding at him, even if it's on his shell. And that will allow him to quickly recede into it if he feels threatened. 
Now I said before, he really likes fruits and veggies. I'm gonna see if I can get him to have a little snack for us so you can see what it looks like when he eats. He's got a little beak on his face. It helps him to poke into like harder plants and veggies, things like that. Tortoises are actually really, really smart animals. Now obviously it's difficult to tell because I can't have a conversation with him, but they have very good memories. So like when we take him out of his enclosure, he can remember us, he feels more comfortable. If a complete stranger grabbed him, he would pull it through his shell and hide. But he's got a pretty good memory. So they are very, very smart creatures. And again, that intelligence helps him to survive in the wild. As you can see, he really, really likes getting scratch right there. He is a really, really wonderful creature. He is one of our favorite animals here at the Imaginarium. And you can visit him anytime you come here. Like I said, he's right in our front lobby. So as soon as you come in the door, you'll see the big cage where he is. I hope that you enjoyed today's animal showcase, and I hope that you enjoyed meeting Sherbert. We'll be back again next Monday with somebody new.